Here I have the 2017 Frenel Cascadia. This Frenel Cascadia is having issue with uh, injectors. So what happened here is that we uh, received this truck uh, and the truck wasn't running. And uh, we uh, decided to inspect the whole you know, situation with the engine and we found out that we had problems with the injectors uh, because we had a uh, max of fuel. Let's see if we can open the hood. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So pretty close. Woo. If so, it was about to hit. <laughs> All right. Um, it, it, let's let's see what we can find out with this. Um, well, I mean, at least I can show you. That's my point. Well, it's kind of dark, so let me pull my phone. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So the exhaust manifold was full with uh, fuel. Engine is warm right now. It warm up, but still uh, we have a problem. So the problem we have uh, right now is smog. So every time you replace the injectors because they're bad, they were leaking. Um, you may have the problem then you, the the um, the exhaust system the SCR in this case the SCR is going to be located right here and it's going to go all the way to the telepipe uh, that is going to be contaminated with oil and that's completely normal because I mean sorry sorry fuel uh, and that's completely normal because the fuel is going to travel from uh, uh, the head to the exhaust and uh, from the exhaust is going to be all the way, traveling all the way to the SCR. So that is going to be the reason why. So, okay, but let's, uh, let's check this out. I'm gonna start the engine so you can see. Uh, engine runs fine. Now then we replace the injectors. So this is something that I wanted to show you. Uh, usually when people replace the injectors because they're leaking, they think that that's all they have to do. Uh, but no, this is the reason why it's important to um, uh, check your uh, SCR system or clean it. So in this case, we have the engine right here. This is just, we have the computer connected. Uh, we have no check engine line. Uh, we're gonna show you right now. And the truck has, uh, let's see, what's the mileage on the truck? That's uh, so the way you guys can understand. See, uh, well, it has 216,000. I don't think that's true. That's pretty little. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it says. Uh, and uh, let's just start the engine. So idling. You can see the smoke coming. See, that's not good. So this is the symbol of uh, fuel in the uh, SCR box. So if you want to fix this problem, what you have to do is um, remove the DPF filters and clean them. And after that, you, will, you may have to do a regen and also you know, clean as much as you can the exhaust system and do a regen after that. And it's still probably you're going to see some smoke but this one is a pretty, pretty big smoke. So, so much smoke coming on. No, what? Mm. <laughs> really bad. All right, that's really bad for the environment completely. Uh, I, I shouldn't be doing this, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you how it's like to, uh, um, how it's like a, a truck that has a uh, bike injector thing after the aftermath of replacing the injectors is this. Then even though then you did replace the injectors, you still need to remove the DPF filters and uh, clean them. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have large cloud of smoke like the one you can see on this video. And that is caused because of, of course, uh, fuel on the uh, DPF system. And remember, the DPF system is normal. They, it will get hot. It's normal that the, the job of the DOC is to uh, increase the temperature. So having so much fuel, uh, it won't be able to burn it, and uh, all you're gonna do is send a, a large cloud, cloud smog of, uh, to the to the open environment, and that is not going to be right. If you are driving your truck over the road, this is going to symbolize a big issue. So uh, 
in order for you to understand this is uh, if for any reason you replace your injectors and uh, you don't have the budget to do extra work uh, you better do it you better find it out because you cannot drive the truck like that this this is something very in, in, intense i would say if you drive the truck with a large clouds a uh, very big large uh, cloud smoke like the one this, this truck has is going to be a big deal because a lot of people is going to think that your truck is catching on fire or uh, they're going to think that you have a big problem on your truck and then you know you can get pulled over and so many things can happen so i would just recommend that in case you have this problem uh, i highly suggest to take the truck uh, to the uh, i mean to the to the shop uh, or, or suggest to the, uh, to the person who's doing the job or the shop or or take the, the truck to the uh, dpf cleaning place or whatever uh, to get the dpf clean so that way you can prevent this problem and even though then you um, did clean the filters uh, you're still gonna see smoke coming from your uh, tailpipe because uh, the fuel is not so easy to burn and, and, and it's not just, just the DPF, the one is contaminated with fuel it's going to be also the SCR system, the whole uh, area so that is going to uh, cause uh, smoke even though then anyway, uh, this is just a small video I'm going to do showing you uh, then uh, it's not really nice to have your truck contaminated I mean your SCR system contaminated with fuel because that is going to be a big issue as it is, uh, we have to continue on working on this truck uh, we replaced the injectors um, and uh, the amount of fuel then was um, in the SCR system is too large the truck cannot be dispatched um, we're going to take it back to the shop and we will have to uh, work on it and uh, get, it, get it settled so ready to go that will be very important something a very, a very important step uh, you can see still smoke inside the cabin so can you mind if you drive this truck over the road this is the amount of smoke you're gonna have inside the cabin when you're driving really bad for your health this can cause so many problems to your health so uh, something very important to keep in mind but uh, here we have it uh, anyway uh, if you have any questions about this video or if you may happen to have then you have a problem with your injectors uh, feel free to you know comment below and, 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 and clear your doubts because if, he, if you happen to have that problem, injector problem, you take care of that problem because it's going to be more expensive later and uh, as you can see it's not going to be cheap, it's going to take more money now and, and injectors are in cheap anyway so they're like around like uh, five to six thousand dollars depending where you buy it and depending how you buy the new recovery, uh, rebuild or, uh, or uh, remanufacture depending where uh, so it's the key, the state, uh, the city, uh, and the country too. The prices vary, but uh, regardless on where you buy them or how you buy them, still it's pretty expensive to this job. Uh, anyway, uh, this is all I'm going to be showing to you. And uh, uh, as I said before, uh, keep, keep your uh, eyes over the road if you see smoke like that coming. Uh, large uh, clouds of smoke coming from your engine uh, it's pretty important and you can take you have to take care of that and if you are aware that your injectors are bad be sure to replace the injectors as soon as you can otherwise you are going to have some serious problems like the one this problem this truck has um, and, and, and it's, going to cost to, it's going to cost a lot of money so well I mean this, this is all I'm going to be showing to you and uh, if you have any questions comment below follow me in Instagram as Francisco Amaya YouTube and uh, subscribe to my channel I have plenty of videos showing different uh, mechanic work uh, 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 repairs and uh, suggestions and uh, recommendations to keep your truck over the road and uh, thank you for watching